So this and an automation that you talk with your Google Sheets. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build this yourself. So it's basically an MCP server that communicates through to Google Sheets via cloud. So I'm going to show you right now, I have a Google Sheet over here with uh, basically a lead list. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask Cloud, can you add a new row to my leads sheets with the company name is test. The in information is also test and we have status and the status is done. So what's it's going to do now, it's going to trigger my MCP server. Here it is. And here you see it that the company name, information and status is added. So what you also can do is you can say, can you change the prospect row with the company name is test? Please change the status to follow up. So now it's going to search for the row with test and it's going to change it from done to follow up. So if you have a lot of data into a Google Sheet, you can basically talk to your Google Sheet and easily make changes or get information. So how does, how does the, uh, this work? Is that you have an MCP server trigger, I'm going to show you how you can set it up, which is communicating to four Google Sheets tools nodes to update the sheet, to create a new row, to get all rows in a sheet or delete rows. You even have more Google Sheet notes if you want. Um, you can basically open it and over here you can see all the different, different things you can do with it. But first, let us set up the MCP server trigger. So what you need to have for this MCP server trigger is your production URL. So basically what you can do, you can add a path and then you get this URL. What you want to do is in your um, cloud instance, go to over here, settings, um, and then go to developer. And over here you see right now I have an NADN uh, local MCP server. Um, basically what you want to do is you want to edit com file, config file. So what you will see is that there's an, a file in cloud that you want to open, for example, in a text editor. And then you, you will have a clean text file with no code. And what you want to do is you want to add these, uh, these text. I'm going to add it into the description of this video so you can copy it. And you want to basically add this production URL to the URL right here. Because what is done, what is it going to do is going to install this local MCP server into cloud. So you will see it over here. And if you go to your chats and you go to search and tools, you will find it over here within your tools. You can see here you have the Google Sheets tools that are over here. You can find them over here. So basically now you can say to cloud that it can use these tools to communicate with your Google Sheet. If you have that, you want to make sure that it's active, but you can add your Google Sheets tools by adding your Google Sheets instance or your credentials. Then you say, all right, I want to, this is the action. I want to update row or clear or create or delete. You need to make sure that your document you want to use is selected. You want to map it automatically. You say, all right, I don't want to map it on a company name and you will make sure that you can add over here that AI is going to put um, divine these objects automatically. So you can do that with every sheet you want. So you can add uh, other tools also to it. And when that's done, then you can activate it and you will see my execution. The chat I had previously is that it updated the sheet over here to this status and over here it created the sheet that or the new row that we wanted. The great thing of MCP servers is that you can add other tools also. So basically you have a lot of 
uh, different tools you can add to your MCP server. So you can even talk to what we have here, Active Campaign, for example, or Airtable or other tools, um, basically in the same way. The only thing you need to do is you need to implement your NFN instance into Cloud. If you have any questions, please put it down in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching.